Welcome into RedRaiders.com. This is Krista Pirtle here at the USA. Texas Tech drops another close one in overtime to Iowa State. They fall 82 to 80. Now let's just look back at the past 48 hours. All right, Texas Tech goes to Morgantown, takes West Virginia to double overtime, falls there by nine. Comes back here, gets ready for Iowa State, hanging close with Iowa State, come back, forces overtime, falls by two. That's just the last 48 hours, but let's look back at the last six games, shall we? Fall to Baylor by four, fall to Texas by four, fall to TCU by one, Kansas by one, West Virginia by nine in double overtime, and then Iowa State at two. Tough, tough stretch for these boys here at Texas Tech, but the big thing is that they're fighting to get past it. They aren't used to, to, to this feeling, and they're not phoning things in. You saw guys that played a double overtime game. Justin Gray will play his heart out for you, and you saw that tonight against Iowa State. They played their hearts out tonight but still dropped it. These guys could have just been like, I mean, that's fine. We just probably aren't going to make the NCAA tournament, so we'll just, I mean, that's fine. Baseball comes here on Tuesday. No, these guys are fighters. That is the makeup of this team. They fought to get this game to overtime as they were down by eight with 515 left. They attacked the basket, made some big shots, went nine for nine at the free throw line in the last three minutes to send it to overtime. These guys are fighters. That is a huge thing. And you've just got to think that they're due. You know, they've got to get something. Yes, they did get Baylor this time last week, but you know, something on the horizon has got to be there for these Red Raiders. And it's not because, oh, it's been rough. They should get this handed to them. It's because they've worked for it. Aaron Ross goes in after he after he has a down game and puts up about 1,500 shots by himself in the gym. These guys are working for it. They're just right there. They just cannot get over the hump right now. So today, going back to this game, the big key for Iowa State was a three-point shot. Goodness gracious, Matt Thomas could not miss in the first half. Actually, he missed once but that's once he finished the first half with about 17 points, finished the game with 20. Monte Morris did what Monte Morris does, went, uh, scored for 23, had six assists, just was a huge presence for them, especially after Nazmi Chulong and Deontay Burton both fouled out late. It was Monte Morris that really kept things going for Texas, for Iowa State, excuse me, to hang on to this win. Now Texas Tech, four guys in double figures. Naeem had 17, Zach and Justin both with 16. Zach had a double-double, 16 and 10. Keenan Evans had an off night, one of 10 from the floor, 0 for 4 from the three-point line, but 8 for 8 from the free throw line. He finished with 10. Um, now, in overtime, a big thing that Coach Beard mentioned was the free throw discrepancy. He said that he was saying, guys, attack, drive the ball, drive to the basket, don't worry about charges, attack, get to the bucket. They did get fouled a few times. Those fouls didn't get called. In the overtime period, Texas Tech did not shoot a free throw. Iowa State shot 10. Beard not pleased with that discrepancy at all. However, um, so it is... 82-80, sorry, I'm thinking, with time running down Iowa State ball. Texas Tech fouls Nick Weiler-Babb. He goes to the free throw line 0 for 2. Texas Tech gets the ball. Six seconds left on the clock, I think. Six seconds left. Texas Tech gets the ball. Keenan comes down with it. He gets cut off, as a good defense would do after what Keenan did at West Virginia. So he passes it to Zach Smith. Zach really should have shot it. He turns to... Pass it to Devin Thomas and the final buzzer sounds. That's ball game. Texas Tech didn't even put up a shot in that final play for them. So a bit of a mental lapse there. But these guys are going to keep fighting. Don't worry about that. They did show improvements at West Virginia. They just got owned on the glass tonight against Iowa State. They um, held that edge 37-33, to 33, um, outscored them 21-11, to 11, second chance points. Tech took care of the ball, six turnovers, 10 points off Iowa State's 12 turnovers, outscored Iowa State 26-12 inside the paint. The bench showed up in the first half, pretty much everyone, but Thomas Bransma, who had played, scored in the game. Balance scoring, a lot of good things overall, but just – the thing that matters, that win on the scoreboard did not come through for these guys. 
know if you want any more information on tonight's game. Tech men's basketball, what is left for the Red Raiders in this 2016-2017 season. Head on over to lebeconline.com and redraiders.com. I'm Krista Pertle. Thanks for watching.